Hey guys and welcome back to the Mansion Ford story. In today's video we're going to be going over a basic directional movement and what I mean by this is where we can go forwards, backwards, left and right and also forwards left, forwards right, backwards left and backwards right so we have eight directions we can move in. So if I hit play I'll show you what it's going to look like. We can get in and walk forwards, backwards, left, right, forward right, forward left, backwards left and backwards right and this also works with sprinting as well and so this is what we're going to be making today and a simple way of making this look better is to just get different animations so I'm going to be showing you the basics of setting it all up and I'm going to be using Mixmo animations so obviously if you have your own animations you could make this look a lot better and also in this we're going to be moving the camera like this so obviously you'd want to fix that and a way we could do that is by using turn in place animations now I'm not going to do that in this episode however if you'd like I can do another tutorial in the future on doing turn in place so let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done this. So the first step you're going to want to take is you're going to want to import your animations. So like I said, I'm using Mixmo animations. So what I did was I downloaded them onto the export here and I just retargeted them over. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably leave a link in the description down below to my retargeted animations, which like I say, are all from Mixmo. However, I'll leave a link to the retargeted ones for the UE4 mannequin and also a link to Mixmo as well. However, again, you can use your own animations if you'd like. So what we want to do after that is we want to create our blend space because how we're going to determine which direction we're going in is using our blend space and that's to determine our direction and so therefore which animation to play. So to do that we're going to right click, go to animation and we're going to get a blend space. Not a blend space 1D but a blend space. And then we're going to put this onto our mannequin skeleton or just your skeleton of the character you are using. And I'm going to name this directional movement BS for blend space but you can name this whatever you want so movement, blend space or anything and then open it up straight away. In here you can see we have two axes, the horizontal and the vertical. The horizontal, so this one here, we want to be direction. So I'm going to name it to be direction with the minimum value is minus 180 and the maximum as 180 or 180. And the number of grid divisions we want to be 8 because we have 8 directions. Now we're not going to be using every single grid however we do want to have 8. The interpolation time will leave to 0. The vertical axes we want to be speed. So then we can also run in this as well if we wanted. The minimum is zero, the maximum as 600 or whatever the maximum speed for your character is. So for me that's 600 and sprinting I have a 600 and walking is 300. So when a sprint is 600 but if you have the maximum as 1200 let's say you'd put 1200 in there. So just this is the maximum speed of your player. Number of grid divisions put as three. And now in the bottom here we have this grid where we're going to place our animations. Now in hindsight this is fairly simple, it's not too bad, we just got to put the animations in the correct places. So the part which took me the longest figuring this out and coming up with the code was figuring out which places to put the animations in. However I'm just going to show you where to do it. So I made the code earlier and as a reference image I've made one which I will link in the description down below and it's this image here, I'll probably put it on screen as well as just this Photoshop document. But basically I've just taken a screenshot of what I had earlier and I've just written underneath where I have everything. So if you want you can pause the video now and have this on screen and put them all in. However, I'm going to go through it now as well. So if we go back in, let's put those on. So we'll start with the basics. So what's that? That's idle. So we're going to get our idle animation. For me, that's third person idle. And we're going to just put that on the bottom row here. So this is when we aren't moving. I'm going to put it on every other square like so. So we have five down at the bottom like so. And then we're going to go for walking. And this is going to be walking forwards. So for me, I just want my normal third person walk. I'm going to put that just above the middle idle there so it's, we're still in the central column going up like so and then skipping this one here and going right up to the top we're going to have our running so for me that is the third person run there it is and the reason we're doing that is because this is direction obviously and this is speed so the higher up we go the faster we're going and anything to the right of the middle is right anything to the left is left right? which means we're moving left so we're walking left sorry so now let's just set up all the walking animations. So we've got our idle, walk and run. Now let's set up the walking. So let's do walking backwards first. So let's find our animation for walking backwards, which again, you have here in the bottom right. So I don't know if I mentioned that. All your animations are in the bottom right in this asset browser here. So walking backwards for me is here. So it's gonna be all the way on the left on the first one up and all the way on the right on the first one up as well. So that's gonna walk backwards. And if we hold down left shift and move our mouse, we can preview the animations. So we have idle, walk and run, and then walk backwards as well. This is the animation which I've got. And now we want to walk right, so we're strafing right. So to do that, 
what I'm going to do is get my right strafe walking and put it in between my walk and walk backwards. So it's in the middle there. Now we have right strafe walking like so. Now it might look like it's left to you, but if you move the camera so you're basically possessing the player, it's going to be walking right. So it's just mirrored because of how we're looking at it. And now let's do the left strafe walking. So again, we'll get left strafe walking in between walk and walk backwards there on the left hand side this time. And so now this bottom row we need to fill up completely. So in between our walk right and walk backwards, we want to have walk backwards right, which makes sense, right? We're walking right. So if we're not walking fully right and we're not walking fully backwards, we're walking backwards and right, so diagonally. So what I named this one was run backwards right. Now my walk backwards and run backwards are the same animation. However, obviously you can get your own different animations for each one as well. Or you can just duplicate it and speed it up. But I'm going to be using the same one. So run backwards right for me, I'll have as there. And then in between the walk forwards and walk right, I would have walk forwards right. So for me, I called it run forward right. Let me see if I can search for it. Forward right run. There we go. So forward right run there. So now it's just going to be walking, walking backwards, walking right, walking forward and right backwards. So now let's do the same for left. So this is the exact same. We're just reversing it for left instead of right. So in this slot here, we want to have walking forwards left. This is between forwards and left. So forward left run will be there. And in between backwards and left, we're going to have walking backwards left. So as you can see, it's quite simple to wrap your head around. Run backwards left there. And so that is now the walking completely set up. So now let's do the running. So let's do running backwards first, which again is going to be on the far left and far right. So that's run backwards there which for me is this animation. Set up perfectly in the corners like that. And then again, we have run there. One over to the left of run, we want to have forward left run. Actually, let's do the strafing first again. So again, we have our left strafe there. We go all the way up to the top. We want to have our left strafe running. So for me, I named it left strafe running. So let's put that in there. And directly above the right strafe walking, we want to have right strafe running. So put that in there like so. And again, how we did the walking, in between them, we want to have the diagonal ones. So in between run and run right, we want to have run forward right. So you see if we don't have one, it's just going to kind of bunny hop over like that. So for me, that is run forwards right, or sorry, I named it forward right run there. And then forward left run over there. So again, very simple to do. And I believe that should be it done. So let me just double check for my reference image. Yep, that is all perfectly set up now. So we have idle, walking forwards and running, and we also have our strafes, so walking and running left and right, and also diagonally as well between them, so we have our directional movement for eight different directions like so. So now if we save, we can minimize this, as we're technically done with it, however it's always good to just keep it open in case we need to come back. So we'll minimize that, and the next thing we want to do is we want to put this into our animation blueprint. So for me, I'm going to go to content, mannequin, animations, third person, and in BP. And in here, I'm going to go into the state machine. So let me just delete that. Sorry, that's from earlier. thought I deleted this code, but the engine did crash, so it's not fully gone. So let me just do that. So sorry about that. Like I said, we want to be in the state machine. So you might be in this anim graph here. Double click the state machine, and we're going to go into our idle run state here. If you don't already have one, I do have a video setting up an animation blueprint as well. So I recommend giving that a watch. And then you just essentially change this blend space here for the one we're about to create. And in that, I do also go over setting up the speed and direction variables as well. So if you don't have an animation blueprint, I'd recommend watching that. Although don't worry, we will also set up the direction variable in this video if you don't have that. So what we're gonna do is just delete this blend space, which is already here, and replace it with our directional movement blend space there. So that's just an animation, directional movement blend space there like so. And we can plug the speed in as we already have that. Now we need to make the direction. So we can go to the event graph and then we should have some space here. We'll right click and we'll get a calculate direction. The return value of this, we're gonna right click, promote to variable and name direction. Plugging that into one of these executions here so that we're setting it. And if you don't have another execution, you can just plug it straight into here, like so off of your cast. Target will be self. Velocity will be get velocity for our character, which I have up here. But again, you can come off of your cast and just get velocity like that. And for base rotation, we want to come off of our cast again, or reference to your character, and get actor rotation. Plug that into the base rotation like so. And now we're setting up and calculating the direction. So we can compile and save that. Go back to our state here, 
of a direction, we're just going to plug in our direction variable that we just made. So this is how we're going to be determining which animation to play based on our horizontal and vertical axes of direction and speed. So you can see all of our different states in here like so. So that is the animation blueprint setup. So we can compile and save that. And there's one other thing we need to do, and that's in the character blueprint. So I'm going to open that up for me, which is content, third person BP, blueprints, third person character. Then here you can see I just have a basic sprinting mechanic. I do have a video on that as well if you'd like. However, all it is is simply just when I hold on left shift, I'm going to increase the speed and when I let go, go back to default. What we're going to do is we're going to select the character movement up in the top left. In the top right, we're going to search rot for rotation. And we're going to untick orient rotation to movement and tick use controller desired movement. So we're going to essentially rotate the player wherever the camera is moving. And when we press A and D or S, that won't rotate the player. So that's going to allow us to actually use our strafing and walking backwards animations, which we just set up. So now if we compile and save, this should be it working. So if we minimize and hit play to test this out, we can see if this is working. So if we move the camera, we're going to move like that, which again, we can use turn and place animations to make that look better. If I go forwards, we're going to play forwards animation. If I go backwards, we're going to have a backwards animation. Left, left strafe, right, right strafe. And let's check the diagonal as well. We can go forward diagonal, both directions and backwards as well. And this also works with the sprinting perfectly as well, like so. So this works perfectly. So we've set up our basic directional movement in today's video, where we can move forwards, backwards, left, right, and also diagonally in these directions as well. And again, in a future episode, we can set up turn and place to make that one look a little bit better. But this works great so far. So thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure you can like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.